Professor Rita Mum. Uh, I'm on faculty in the Crop Sciences Department at the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana. And my role in the Feed the Future Soybean Innovation Lab is uh, that I'm the education and training lead. So the role of education and training with the Feed the Future Soybean Innovation Lab is to really look at the sustainability and uh, having a very lasting impact of this project far beyond uh, the, the close of the project. So uh, we're looking at training the next generation of plant breeders uh, and we're looking at enhancing the skills of the plant breeders that are currently working on the project. The University of Illinois uh, in the middle of the last decade was looking, uh, along with a number of other institutions, at this very serious problem of a shortage of plant breeders in the United States and around the world. Uh, looking at the tra trajectory and the potential consequences of not dealing with this shortage uh, caused the University of Illinois to establish the Illinois Plant Breeding Center. So this, was, uh, this center was established as a, a way to not only bring more young people into science, into agricultural science, and specifically into plant breeding, um, but also to increase the quality of the education that these young people would be getting, taking into account that the science is moving very, very fast in plant breeding. Technology innovations are coming very quickly. And so incorporating those and ways to um, uh, have the students think very creatively about new applications in the future has been a goal of the Illinois Plant Breeding Center. Well, just as there's a shortage of plant breeders in the United States, there's a shortage of plant breeders around the world. And the education um, portion of the Feed the Future Soybean Innovation Lab is seeking to put a master's degree program in plant breeding in place at the University of Ghana. And uh, th this is very important because we are mirroring what was done at the Illinois Plant Breeding Center to try and address this shortage of plant breeders. But we're doing it within the setting in Africa. So the, the point with this is to train young people in Africa for the profession of plant breeding um, with the hopes that they will decide to practice their profession uh, in their own country in the future. To help uh, educate plant breeders in Africa, we're partnering with the uh, University of Ghana and the Western African uh, Center for Crop Improvement, uh, which is very similar to uh, the Illinois Plant Breeding Center and its relationship with the University of Illinois. So um, they're focused on uh, uh, training plant breeders. They have an excellent PhD program in place uh, that resulted from a partnership with Cornell University. And now through the Feed the Future Soybean Innovation Lab, we are partnering uh, with the University of Ghana to put a master's degree program in plant breeding in place. This would give a whole educational pathway going from BS to master's to PhD in plant breeding and uh, make it one of the premier programs on the continent of Africa. So very quality uh, curriculum. Uh, we are helping to um, put together content for six core courses that would be a key part of the MS uh, core curriculum. And, um, uh, and then we're transferring these, uh, this content of courses and the delivery to faculty that are on site at the University of Ghana. Two very bright new faculty have just been hired uh, with some funding from the European Commission. So um, uh, the University of Ghana is well positioned to get this MS degree program in plant breeding off the ground and off to a great start. And part of uh, what we're doing to help the University of Ghana to establish this master's program in plant breeding is we're, we're also uh, putting together a channel to bring master's students over to the U.S. for an internship, a uh, three to six month internship. And this would give them a chance to interface with seed companies in, in the U.S. 
see the scale of plant breeding uh, within an industrial setting, see the applications of, of technologies in an industrial setting, um, with the thought that uh, this will help students to look very creatively at how they can apply new technologies in their own program in the future. This is something that we've made a core part of the Illinois Plant Breeding Center. And so we like our students to be uh, exposed to the scale uh, of industrial plant breeding and um, all the, the, the latest innovations and how they integrate right into the breeding program. And so we want this for uh, the students at the University of Ghana as well. The Tropical Soybean Development Workshop is, um, is is really interesting to me because all the partners in this very vast project will be here um, in Washington, D.C. So um, I'm a plant breeder by training uh, and an educator. Uh, and it's very interesting for me to see all the pieces that go into place to create a whole value chain for soybean in Africa. So our partners, TechnoServe um, and Catholic Relief Services will be here. Um, It'll be uh, great to visit with them. I'm also really interested to hear about uh, the applications of GPS data for African um, uh, farmers. So in the United States, it's, it's a huge trend uh, that uh, farmers are getting on the spot, on the minute, uh, delivery of information that's relevant to their fields, to their crop, to the sale of their crop, the inputs for their crop. And now to see that this is being made, uh, tailored for Africa and made available to farmers in Africa, I'm really interested to see how that will, uh, how that's being rolled out. So we've looked at um, trying to make this partnership to establish a master's degree program in plant breeding at the University of Ghana. We tr we've looked at it from the point of making it scalable. So, uh, uh, Anyone who's interested in a, in a quality program in plant breeding training for the next generation of uh, plant breeders should indeed call us if they're interested.